So this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and behind me is a Kia Seed, quite possibly the most average car imaginable. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make any car, even an average one like this, look much more cinematic. No fancy camera accessories needed for this. We're gonna be shooting everything completely handheld. I'm gonna show you 10 simple shots and at the end of this video, I'm going to edit all 10 shots into a short cinematic sequence using music, color grading, and sound effects. A big thanks to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. This is where I'll be going to get all of my music and sound effects for the final sequence. Okay, let's start with an opening shot to this sequence, establish the car, and set the scene. The car reveal. For this, find something in the foreground to reveal your car. I'm going to use this brick wall. I'm shooting in 4K, 60 frames per second. I'm gonna tap and hold on the car to lock focus and exposure. I'm gonna hit record and then position my camera behind this brick wall. I'm then gonna slide my camera from left to right, revealing the car. Now, if you're having trouble getting a nice smooth shot, then a quick tip here is to switch to HD 120 and do exactly the same. This will capture your shot in slow motion. You will lose a bit of resolution compared to shooting in 4K, but your shot will look much smoother. Okay, that's shot number one. Moving on to the badge flyby. For this, I'm gonna to switch to my wide angle lens, lock focus and exposure on the badge, hit record, and then lean across the front of the car and pull my camera back over the badge. This creates a very dramatic shot as the camera pulls back, revealing the badge. Be sure to shoot in slow motion for this to keep your shot smooth and steady. Now, the key to any good edit is a good mix of shots and perspectives. So for this next shot, let's get our camera lower to the ground to create a much more dramatic look. The concrete sniffer. For this, shoot in slow motion using the wide angle lens and get your phone as low to the ground as possible and push forward. Do not have your phone like this. Have your phone like this so that your lens is closer to the ground. Push your camera forward as well as pull it backwards. Having your phone this low to the ground creates a completely new perspective. It adds much more interest and drama to your shots as well as emphasizing all of the detail and textures on the ground. Now, if you're fortunate enough to be anywhere with a puddle, then be sure to take advantage of it. Puddles create incredible reflections. Exactly the same again, only this time get your phone as close to the puddle as possible and push forward. Get the angle right on this one and you'll capture stunning reflection shots that will instantly up the production value of your final sequence. The push forward. Okay, back to basics with this one. We're simply going to frame our car so that it's nice and centered. Hit record and push forward, keeping the car in the center of frame as best as possible. Now, you can do this from the side like what I'm doing here or from a 45 degree angle like this. Either way works. Shoot wide to show off both your car and its location. Keep your movement smooth and consistent. Okay, let's mix things up and go through the window. For this, I'm gonna shoot wide, hit record, and with two hands holding the phone, push forward through the driver's side window. I'm gonna grab a shot pushing forward as well as a shot pulling back. This shot is a great way of taking your audience from the outside to the interior of your car. We're getting a little bit of flickering light as we push through the window, but not to worry, as we're gonna use this to our advantage in the final edit. The wheel orbit. Crouch down for this one and get your camera at wheel height, lock focus on the wheel, just using the standard lens for this one, and then slowly start to orbit around the wheel. Keeping two hands on your phone and using your grids will help keep the wheel in the center of frame. Also, pro tip here, maybe don't wear a bright red jacket on shoots like this because you'll become a reflection nightmare. The dashboard slider. For this one, you'll need to climb into the back of the car. I'm gonna shoot in slow motion, lock focus and exposure on the steering wheel, and then start my shot with my phone behind the driver's seat. And then I'm gonna slide my camera from right to left, revealing the car's dashboard and interior. The rotate, a nice easy one this. Shoot wide, hit record, and start your shot with your phone rotated at about 45 degrees. We're gonna push forward towards the car, rotating the phone as we go. Capture a shot going forwards as well as one pulling back. Sometimes the shots pulling back look smoother. Don't forget, you can always reverse a pullback in the edit to make it a push forward. Bonus tip, combine multiple techniques. Let's do a slow motion rotate concrete sniffing reflection shot. 
the rear orbit. Similar to the wheel shot, this one, we're gonna crouch down, lock focus on the car, and then slowly start to orbit around the rear of the car. We've got a beautiful sunset here this evening, so I'm going to reveal the sunset from behind the car. The interior pullback. For this, we're gonna lean through the driver's side window with our phone pointing forwards. Shoot wide, lock focus and exposure, and slowly start to pull your phone back out through the window. This shot not only shows off the interior, but also adds a nice surprise as the camera pulls back through the window. So those were 10 shots and how to shoot them, but to really help bring this footage to life, let's add some music and sound effects. For this, I'm gonna head over to Epidemic Sound. I wanna find something that complements this footage, something cinematic that helps up the production value. If I were to use something like this, this could actually have the opposite effect and make the sequence feel cheap and cheesy. So instead, I wanna find something with a bit more class and style, maybe a film score or something orchestral. Now, luckily, Epidemic Sound make it incredibly easy to find exactly what you're looking for. They've got a huge archive of music with playlists and albums, everything from rock, chilled beats, hip hop, cinematic, and this makes the whole process so much quicker and easier. Now, for this edit, I'm gonna go with this track here. This definitely fits the mood and feel that I'm going for. Now, they also have a huge sound effects library that I want to take advantage of because with a subscription, I can download as much as I like. I'm also going to download some atmospheric sounds, whoosh sound effects, maybe some engine revs, anything to help add another layer of depth and interest to the sequence. So I've downloaded everything I need. You can use the exact same music and sound effects as me if you like. I will leave a link to Epidemic Sound along with a free trial below. Okay, so I've added music, color grading, and sound effects, and we now have a complete sequence ready to view. Let's take a look. So what did you think of that sequence using just 10 simple shots? Do let me know in the comments section below. Now, obviously filming is just one part of the production process. If you'd like to learn how to edit your videos to make them look much more professional, then be sure to watch this video here that shows you 10 video editing tips that every editor should know. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.